Hello, my name is Raymonda Adams. I'm a certified lactation counselor and doula. I work for the WIC program and Durham's Baby Cafe. Today in this slide, we're going to discuss breastfeeding skills and planning. This is brought to you by the UB Maternal and Child Health Program. I'm going to hide my video now so that you can concentrate on the slides. Before you give birth, the first thing you need to know is that you must have confidence in yourself. Know that breastfeeding is something you want to do. Know that it is healthier for you and the baby. Get good prenatal care, and most importantly, believe you can do it. What is good prenatal care? Prenatal care during pregnancy is very important. For your baby's sake and yours, it is important to take especially good care of yourself. Follow these basics. Eat a healthy diet, get enough rest, do not smoke, drink, or take alcohol, and drugs, and schedule your first prenatal care checkup as soon as you find out you're pregnant. Prenatal care allows you to achieve good maternal health, normal development of the fetus, and to promote optimal labor in childbirth conditions. This way, maternal complications during pregnancy will decrease, as well as newborn complications such as low birth weight and other neonatal diseases. There are some key steps that you can take to prepare for breastfeeding. How to prepare the breast for breastfeeding. More things you can do before you give birth. Talk to family and friends about how they can help you with your breastfeeding journey. Let your partner, family, and friends know of your desire to breastfeed. They should be willing to show love and appreciation for what you are trying to do for you and your child. Make sure that they're a good listener. Make sure you get enough rest and have help around the house. Talk to the older children about breastfeeding and what they can expect to see and things that they can do to help you. Talk to family members with breastfeeding experience and be honest about your fears and concerns. Learning to breastfeed. 
Learning to breastfeed takes time and patience. Breastfeeding is natural, but sometimes it does not come naturally. So there are some ways to make the process easier. Skin-to-skin -skin contact, which is having baby directly against your bare skin. Breastfeed as soon as possible after your baby's birth. You make milk in response to your baby suckling at the breast. Time spent breastfeeding in your baby's first few days prepares your body to make lots of milk. Let your baby stay in your hospital room. Tell the staff not to give your baby formula, sugar water, or pacifier unless medically necessary. Avoid fake nipples and pacifiers until your baby is skilled at latching, and this usually takes between three to four weeks. This will help avoid nipple confusion. Your milk in the first few weeks. At birth, you will have colostrum. This is a thick yellowish fluid. It's in very small amounts, but this thick fluid is early immune protection for you and your baby. 12 to 24 hours after birth, baby will be drinking about one tablespoon of colostrum per, per feed. Three to five days after birth, mature white milk begins to come in. And four to six weeks after birth, your white milk will be fully in and flowing well. Colostrum is very important for new babies. Four milk is rich in water and other nutrients to help keep your baby healthy and hydrated. And the high milk at the end of the feed is rich in fat and calories, which your baby needs to grow strong and healthy. Follow your baby's lead. Follow a baby-led latch style of breastfeeding. Some tips on how to get started are look for hunger cues, rooting, open mouth and turning head, fist to mouth, licking lips, sucking of the tongue, and fidgety. You want to create a calm environment for you and your baby. Hold your baby skin to skin, let your baby lead, and do not force the latch. Signs of a good latch. The latch is comfortable and doesn't hurt. It's a very good sign that you have a good latch. Your baby's chest should be resting against your body. You will see little to no areola. When positioned well, your baby's mouth will be filled with breast. Your baby's tongue is cupped underneath your breast. You can hear or see your baby swallowing. Your baby's lips turn outwards, not inwards. Your baby's chin touches your breast. Mom is not hurting. Baby is drinking and swallowing, gaining weight, has enough dirty and wet diapers each and every day. Getting your baby to latch. The most important part of a good latch is to get your baby to open wide. The mouth should cover the areola. Lips are flanged out. Here are some common breastfeeding positions. The first one you see is the cradle position. Then there's the cross cradle position, back lying, football, Australian hold, inverted side lying, side lying cradle, and side lying. Don't worry if your position is not here on this chart. As long as baby is feeding well and you aren't in pain, whatever position you're in that is comfortable is okay. So, let's talk about help with some latch problems. Are you in pain? It does take time to find a good breastfeeding position. So if you're feeling pain, 